Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. She studies a flying mammal that has more in common with humans than dogs or cats. Well, this week's Steam Profiles focuses on science and math and what it takes to be a bat biologist. Here's CBS 2 Sandra Mitchell. They're very misunderstood and they're very unique. They're cute. Dr. Patricia Brown talking about the subject of her lifelong passion. She is a bat biologist. Very technically, it would be chiroptologist. Bats. They're in the family Choroptera, and Choroptera means winged hand. The bones in a bat's wings correlate to those in human hands. We evolved from a common ancestor way back when. So it's not surprising that there can be viruses in bats that may not be directly transmissible to people, but are close. Among them, coronaviruses. Bats do have a lot of viruses, coronaviruses. But bats don't get sick from them. When bats are active, their temperatures probably exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a way that bats are able to keep their viruses in check because they operate at these higher temperatures. Pat says undisturbed in their natural habitat, bats pose no threats to people. In fact, they do a lot of good. They eat a variety of insects. The smaller bats will eat mosquito-sized insects, and mosquitoes do carry a lot of diseases. Bat biologists work to understand how they do this. My day usually doesn't start until the middle of the afternoon. And that's when she heads out to bat hangouts, often mines or caves, where she can watch them emerge. We're counting them, we're recording their echolocation calls. Of all the STEAM disciplines, bat biology relies most heavily on science and math, specifically physics. If you don't understand the mechanics of sound, which is physics, you would not understand how the bats are utilizing this very unique navigation system. The more biologists learn about bats, the more they've discovered the importance of protecting them. We think they're keystone species, meaning that if you remove that animal from the environment, the ecosystem could tend to collapse. And even after 50 years, Pat doesn't see her interest fading anytime soon. Bats, she says, have this sort of charisma about them. Here was a very unique animal who had adapted in so many ways to an environment that we couldn't even begin to imagine. I like the music that comes along with this. It's like story Halloween. Too. I yeah. love it. Well, I love seeing bats at Cal Carlsbad Caverns. So they're beautiful, but you're like, no. How often do you go see them? <laughs> Once in a blue moon. Oh, okay. You haven't seen them since I've been here, have you? <laughs> no, no. Right, when good. I was a kid. But <laughs> producer on. Paul watched them too. I'm not alone. I'm not crazy.